Hey everyone, this is the Noble Artist here, and today in this tutorial Tuesday, I'm going to show you guys how I make the bandolier for my custom figures. Um, for those who don't know what a bandolier is, I'm going to show you right here with my Kashyyyk Trooper. The bandolier is this strap that goes across the chest. You see it a lot in movies and all a lot of stuff like that in military. It's um, it's basically like a belt that goes across their chest and it has ammo, um, ammo and You'll see guys have like grenades and shotgun shells and um, you'll see military guys where they'll have like a bunch of like bullets and stuff. Um, but a bandolier is basically um, that strap that goes across the chest and um, I'm going to show you guys how I make mine. Um, very simple, very, very simple actually. Um, what you're going to need is some fabric. Um, I showed you guys before in a video how I do the fabric. If you haven't seen it, um, I will put a link in this video to my fabric video. Um, but you'll just take a piece of your fabric and then cut a sliver of it off. Um, I have this sliver here. It kind of depends on how wide you want it to be or how thin. Um, but you just cut a sliver off. Um, that's all you need. Um, you also need a piece of metal. Um, you're going to need a piece of metal a little bit bigger than uh, the fabric, or at least the width of it. I'll show you here what I mean. I got my piece of metal, and as you can see, it's a little bit wider then the piece of fabric okay so what you're going to do is you're going to take this and then you're going to take your piece of metal and you're going to cut off all the corners so it's not like a uh, a square and you're just going to trim each of the four corners off and then um, set that aside and then once you have your your main piece cut a little bit off the end um, that's going to be the third piece and i have mine right here i'll show you it's very small you can see right there um, but make sure that it is the same width as this um, that's going long ways, I mean wide. Um, so what you're going to do is I have my clone here. I normally do this step a little bit later because um, I have the belt and then I usually put it um, where it ends where the belt would be because um, I don't want to mess up the belt. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this one on and then I'll, I'll deal with the belt later um, when I do this custom. So take some scissors once you have your pieces and then you're going to cut at a diagonal. Cut a little angle off like so. I'm not sure how well you can see that. My camera is really bad at focusing. I apologize for that. Um, so cut that off at an angle. And then as you can see, when you turn it sideways on a Lego guy, because you have that angle cut, it's going to actually go straight across on the figure. Okay, so if you left it square, um, then it's going to have a weird corner piece. So um, you can see that because the angle it's going to actually fit right there so what you're going to do is take some glue um, people keep asking me what kind of glue i use i just use super glue it's very simple it's very cheap i got this at the dollar store um, you get two tubes of it and i've been using the same tube for quite some time um, it takes a little bit of time to get used to because you're squeezing it ever so gently um, and then it comes out it's not like the ones that have um, the fancy little hand guards and stuff and the pressure point so just going to squeeze a little bit of glue if it wants to come out. you got to be really gentle. Put a little bit of glue on the end, um, like so. And then I use toothpicks when I do this step, um, mainly because it doesn't stick as well to a toothpick, and I don't want it to stick to my tweezer bees. So once you get it put on, you can use a toothpick and then kind of dab it on. It's like that. It, it sticks to, my, to the metal that I use. Um, really easily so that's why I, I tend to use this um, just press that down make sure that it's on there you can kind of see how it dries really fast um, and then just hold it up to the corner say where you want it to be you can kind of just eye it at this point and put your thumb where you say okay it needs to be there um, then I'm going to cut it again like so um, now this is kind of up to you the preference you can actually wrap it all the way around the figure if you have one solid piece and then come down the back um, but a lot of times I have a pauldron up here on the shoulder so I just stop it at the top and then the pauldron covers the rest of it so there's really no need to um, go any further than that I'm going to trim it just a little bit more like that so you can see how it goes up top right on there on that corner uh, okay so fold that back just a little bit so you can get get some glue in there put a little bit of glue uh, a lot of glue. Another thing with the toothpick is you can you can wipe some of the glue off if you get too much on there and then use the other side to push it into place like so. I just 
went down like that really gently and you can use your hand at this point once it's kind of already on there push a little firm a little firmer okay so now once you have the main piece on then you're going to take your piece of metal like so and then if it's bent a little bit I suggest trying to get it as flat as you can get it but if it's not then don't worry about it, it doesn't need to be perfect um, take your piece of metal I use my tweezer bees because it's easier to use and then I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on it like so okay then you're going to turn it sideways put it on I like to go somewhere around the middle of the figure um, that's all depending on you you can go a little bit higher if you want I don't really suggest going too low with it so middle to the higher range um, is where I, I suggest putting it now this buckle is a little big you can make it any size you want um, some of the buckles um, are exaggerated on a lot of stuff um, and if you're making like a historical figure, um, like a pirate or something like that, they have their bandoliers, if you see them, they're huge because um, theirs carry the sword and they actually look really big, um, which is a nice look, it's not bad. Um, then you're gonna take your other piece, the third one, the smaller piece right here, put a little bit of glue on that, making sure that you don't get it on your tweezers because if you glue it to the piece, glue the piece to what the thing you're holding it with, then you won't be able to let go of it and that's that's not good. And, okay, be a little bit gentle with this one, so I'm going to put some glue on the end of that. Make sure you're holding this the right way. If you're holding it long ways, lengthwise, then it's not going to look right. So hold it the width way, basically the same direction that your sash is going, um, or the bandolier. You want to do that. And then put it on. It got stuck a little bit, so I'm going to use my toothpick to push it into place sometimes you just need to drop it with the tweezer bees and then just use something else to to get it to where you want it to go it's giving me a little bit of trouble but now that it's in, in place you can push it down a little bit more and if it doesn't stick right away you can always peel it off um, like I don't have a lot of glue on this one and it's kind of loose but um, I can always add a little bit more glue to it it's no big deal and I can always paint around it. Um, so what you do is when you put that third piece on, uh, make sure that you can see the metal all around it. Uh, as you can see, as I move it, you can see the metal all around the, uh, the bandolier. Um, and what that does is when you put that piece in the middle, it represents or it makes it look like, um, like a belt buckle, how it goes through this loop um, and then comes over the middle and then loops back down and goes up. Uh, so that's how you you make that look happen without having to actually make one like a real one And you turn to the angle you can see yeah, it is very thin um, It doesn't pop off the chest a whole lot But it does have a little bit of a pop to it and then it gives it some nice depth to it Like there are three layers which gives it a lot more detail um, So that's what you do guys and then if you want to add stuff to it feel free to just add stuff up and down here um, I do have one figure that I added um, I cut pieces of toothpick. I use a lot of toothpicks for stuff because it's uh, a good dimension for Legos, but cut little cylinders off and you can, I'm going to try to pick them up with this. You can glue little cylinders off and put them up and down there. And um, if you have old circuit boards or old electronics you take apart and there's a lot of good little uh, pieces you can add um, to this. And if you have, uh, this is another little tidbit. If you have a dog chain, like if you had a GI Joe or just something you had like a dog tag and you have this right here for all these little beads, um, if you cut those off, they're pretty simple to cut off. There's a little piece of metal holding them together. If you have scissors or some kind of pliers, you can pull them off um, and then glue those on there. It's a good, um, it's a good shape um, for this. It's a good size. And then if you put them up and down there, you can paint them black or whatever color you want, and they look good as grenades um, and whatnot. So it's pretty much up to you what you add to it. You don't have to add anything at all, like I said um, before. You can, this one right here, he doesn't even have anything on his. It's just a straight up uh, bandolier um, or sash, if you want, not a sash, it's bandolier, um, which is really awesome. So you guys can use your imagination, do what you want to do. Um, I hope you like this video. If you learned something, please hitch hike it. I almost gave it a thumbs down. Hitch hike it. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. My next tutorial um, coming out, I'm going to show you guys how to bend the metal in a certain way. There's a certain technique that I use to duplicate the exact same piece twice which is very easy now that I'm, I'm dropping stuff all over the place um, yes it's a very good way to bend the metal um, if you're trying to do pieces and you want two exactly the same 
Um, I'm going to show you guys that. And for the You Pick the Pain, I apologize again. It's, it's been kind of hard to stay consistent um, because I waited too long to figure out what paint scheme I wanted to go with. And by then, um, it was already too late to make it on time. Um, but I already have the paint scheme. It's right here. Um, that doesn't count. Um, paint scheme's right here. I've already started it. It's already um, over here being it's drying, actually. Um, I still got to finish that up. And then tomorrow, okay, so tomorrow I'm going to do... I'm going to finish the You Pick the Paint um, figure, and then I'm going to show you guys this uh, Battle Damage Stormtrooper, which is really awesome. Um, this guy here is on eBay. Um, I know the price is kind of high, but it took a lot to, a lot to make this figure. Um, it has a lot of new features, and it took a while to do this magnetic um, visor. And um, The time I put into it is actually worth more than what I listed it as, but um, I'm just going to take a loss on that as it is. Um, but Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I had something else I wanted to mention. Oh yes, um, for the You Pick the Paint, um, please keep in mind that I am going to go back to showing you guys the numbers with annotations in this video. Um, you cannot see annotations through your uh, mobile device. The mobile app, the YouTube app does not let you see the annotations, so you will not be able to see the numbers. Um, I'm just going to do that because it's easier to put the numbers over it with annotations um, than it is to do the paper stuff. Um, so if you're watching it on your phone, you can go to Google, go to Chrome. I'm pretty sure you can go to, um, if you find YouTube um, on your phone through the internet, it will work, but it will not work through the app. Um, don't quote me on that. I was reading some stuff about it, and some guy got it to work, but it was only on um, his iPad. So if you don't see the numbers above the, uh, the paints, um, please just watch it on your computer and you'll be able to see them. Um, Alrighty guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. God bless. I'll see you later. Don't forget to hit this button right up here to subscribe. And if you're the first person to leave a comment on my video, I'll give you a shout out, which will appear right up in here. So that's another reason you want to subscribe so you guys can get a chance to get that free shout out. Alright guys, take care. I'll see you later. Bye.